Hello everyone, Idris here. I want to show you my castle that I have built that is extremely functional and allows all my pals to work in it and everything. And uh, let's get started. So here you can see I have this little cathedral where we can um, offer pals and upgrade them and everything. Let's move to... This is where the priest stays. Around here. This is more of an area where the priest can get everything he needs. Some storage, books, wine. Okay. Now. Let's go up to the top where everyone's doing the watching. This is where some of the guards stay. Have some meals. Okay, now let's go to the top. Yeah. This is actually just the watchtower. The castle is coming up. This is not actually the castle. So, let me start this over, except from the castle. Okay, I am now back, and now it's time to reveal the castle. So let's, uh, more of a view here. This is the front of it. You know, let's just get on the flying mount for you guys. Get on speed, super fast. This is the whole outer area. I actually do have all my pals right now. Um, for this video, I wanted to just have my flame pals to ignite all the torches I use. And I went and captured a bunch of humans for this as well. So, yep, here's the outside. I'm gonna take a one, a run through the entire thing now. Let's get there. Let's get on the Black Knight. door so my pals or my merchants don't wander off okay so this is the the entrance of the castle as you can see there's still a lower um, watching area around the entire castle that I made I incorporated the roof here as well as ivy and vines all over I want to really give it a realistic feel okay so now you're walking in, you can see we have a little bar area here, nice carpet, uh, <laughs> leaves coming through from up underneath, but I'll show you that later. And this is where the production happens. I got all my max assembly lines over here. I was able to save a lot of space by just having that stuff. And then let's see what else is here. There's a lot of torches that still need to be lit. I'm not going to do all of them. Now you guys get the gist. Let's go in here. This is where all the, the medicines, the remedies take place. We've got a nice witch cauldron here. Everything you need to get it done. I was able to uh, have triple benches under this flower area here. Made it work nice. Yep. Now, yeah, I'm just going to keep all the doors open so they can light the stuff I need. Okay. Let's actually go to where the pals stay first. So, we're going to go underneath. Here's some storage, a fridge. Um, and actually, this is where the foreman stays. The pal foreman. You see he has his tools. A nice bench area to work, place to have his coffee in the morning. Whoop, close it on myself. Right. And then look at this. This is the little oasis. It is nighttime right now, so it is harder to see. But I do have a torch on me. Let's go. 
normally I have the lights in the ceiling, but I wanted to make it feel more like a castle for the video, so I just I just removed all lighting and added torches. As you can see, I have all the the max level beds for my pals. I want to make sure they're all happy. Let's light some of these really quick. There we go. So as you can see, it has like a pretty cool chill vibe down here. Little oasis they have. They also do their planting and harvesting down here as well as normally I have my cows and chickens making me ingredients to make cakes. Okay, and then outside here, sorry, bugged. Um, we have where they farm the stone, the lumber. There's a mill and the crusher here. And when these are all working, I get a lot of a lot of resources very quickly. When I have everyone down here, oh look at the humans even sleep in their beds. I haven't seen that before. Cool, cool. Okay, now we're gonna go to the lower watching area. What are you doing, buddy? Igniting, nice. As you can see, you can look out from here, at least within <laughs> the borders of the defense walls. I have a ton of these cauldrons around. I think they look really nice. And you don't have to keep igniting them, so that's a that's definitely a plus. Okay. And now this area is where I do all the refining. Oh yeah. This is where all the smelting happens. There once was a ship that with uh, my quick burner, a little feature right here. This guy burns faster than anything level 5 kindling I max out work speed work slave serious workaholic and artisan and I think I'm going to make a video on that eventually but just a little sneak peek please comment if you would like to see that anyways here's another lower area for some of the guards people working on the site throughout the castle and then we come back around, and then this is the back entrance. A little covering with the roof where I could make it work. It seems like it was just the front and back where I was able to do so. Okay. So now, let's go and check everything else out. Okay. So... You know what, let's, let's check out the tavern here. So this is the tavern I came up with. Um, ton of seating, a few tables, you know, some good stuff. This is where the meals are made, some storage, some water and wine. And then if you wanted to rent here, you could. There's one room available that has a little bathroom area. Okay. And since we're right here, we're going to go and check the second watching section. Outer watching section. Yep. I incorporate a lot of vines here. I still have the cauldrons because I think they're, I think they're awesome through you can see everything going on outside actually has a beautiful view I'm actually kind of happy this is nighttime it, it helps out a little bit I like the the fire in the nighttime okay. okay so now let's check the other couple areas we have here oh we have another bathroom for the people on this floor some towels you can take a bath or the bathroom perfect okay and this is another foreman but this is the second level foreman this guy oversees the actual working making 
pow balls, weapons, ammo, anything he needs to. He has a little nicer headquarters. He also gets paid a little, little more. Okay. So now we're going to go up to the next story. As you can see, more cauldrons. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I almost forgot. The king's spy shall be executed today. This is for when it lightens up out, there will be an execution right here. As you can see, I even have an executioner's room where he eats and makes some food. And I have a cell here. Nice cell here. This is where the criminal stays until execution. Okay. So now, <laughs> It's a little, that's a little deep there. Okay, that's where it happens. This is where my advisors sit as I'm giving the decision and casting my final judgment here. And I will allow them to uh, say the last words. And we also, not too far away, we have a study, plenty of books, fireplace, plenty of seating, more books, places you can write things down, perfect. Yep. Now let's go to the king's quarters really quick. I have this blocked off twice, just in case the king wants privacy. Eventually I'll have guards, you know, guarding the doors. If that was possible. <laughs> and yeah, so now we are in the king's headquarters. Go place to sit when he wishes to do so. And he has the company, he likes to play some music. He's actually a musician. Some tea time over here. This is where he um, gets ready and makes sure he looks good enough for his castle. More stuff. Let's see. Another fireplace. And this is where a lot of the decisions happen. This is where he's thinking of his strategy, checking the map out, see if he wants to expand. Yeah, and he has his private bathroom. It's pretty luxurious. Okay, and now let's go up. Oops, sorry, first. Let's go around. Let's go around the next level of watching. This is not like the other ones. Much more of a castle feel here. There's only a few windows on each side. That's all you really need. Especially with the other watching points. More cauldrons. Speaking of cauldrons, we got a place one here. Sorry about that. It's okay. I got Anubis, he'll finish just really quickly. There it is. Cool. Okay. Let's run through. Right. Let's um let's come back on this side now. We're back where the executions were. Or where they happen. I have plenty of merchants and people running through. Not gonna lie, these uh, Wixens are pretty good because 
all they worry about is igniting for the most part unless you have to transport or make things and now we are up to the last level I kept the uh, the generator here because I just didn't want to remove it I wanted other things to function um this is where my ponies are they're mating trying to make the best raw stallion I can and this is the guard to this upper castle portion, this upper tower. Just hanging out. You really don't want to be an uninvited guest over here. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my castle. Let's um, let's do one more once around really quick. And tell me what you think. Please like. Please subscribe. Um. Anything helps, and it's much appreciated. Yeah, so uh, I hope you all have a good day, and you stay tuned. I want to make more of these videos. I'm still new to this, but I definitely want to make it work. So any help, any advice, anything you want to provide is extremely appreciated. I am grateful for all of you. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, please follow, um, anything you do helps. Um, if you feel inclined, hit the notify button for when I make new videos. And I hope you all have a great day.